Good morning! It is a beautiful morning here in Athens and today we are going to go visit the Acropolis right there and also a lot of the archaeological sites all around the city and give you a whole bunch of tips along the way. So first tip, go in the morning as soon as it opens. Here in the winter it opens at 8.30 and the summer it opens at 8. Right now it's about 8 o'clock, we're going to walk over and be there as soon as the gates open. Our next tip for you is to use the southeast entrance, not the west entrance because there's no one here. The buses unload all the tour groups over at the west entrance. So use this one. No bottleneck, no tour groups, totally open. Another tip, wear good shoes. You climb a lot really fast. Look at how we are. We're like five minutes in, but we're here. So this is another reason that you should come in the winter and in the morning. You get the whole place mostly to yourself. It's, it's fantastic. So this is Erection. It looks pretty much intact. I don't see any reconstruction here. That's cool. We've been practicing trying to read Greek, so here we go. Okay. Pi, Alpha, Nu, Delta, Rho, Omicron, Omicron Sigma, Epsilon, uh, Epsilon, Epsilon, Iota, Omicron, Omicron, Nu. Yeah, so what does it say? Pandraseon. <laughs> so this is the sacred olive tree that sprang up when Athena struck the rock with her spear. Athena and Poseidon were having a contest for the patrons of the city and Athena won. So yeah, that's why this is called Athens and not like Poseidus. <laughs> This was the Roman temple built right in front of the Parthenon, trying to patch up the relations between Rome and Greece here. So this talks about all the restoration work that's going on here. The Parthenon and pretty much all the archaeological sites here are under a constant state of restoration. So you're always going to see cranes, people working, scaffolding, but you still have a lot of options to get cool pictures. It's so cool. See the groups coming in now? We are going to head down to the theaters and some of the other places, other archaeological sites. So one good tip is that there's a lot of marble that's been like really shiny, so it's really smooth, and so it's a good thing to wear shoes with at least a little bit of grip on them. <laughs> there's also just a lot of uneven ground, so wearing just good shoes is a good thing. So this is the Odeon of Herodes, and what we learned in Turkey is that an Odeon was different from a theater because this was built for concerts and speeches, whereas the theater is for stage productions. They rebuilt it back in the 1930s because they started doing concerts here on a regular basis, and they still do. Too bad. Sit in your throne. So in the second century AD, Hadrian built a new city over here on the east side of Athens, and he built this arch. This was like the entrance into his city. Whoa! So this temple is dedicated to Zeus. All of these columns are original, back from when Hadrian built it in about a hundred and something BC, which is super cool. Now, 16 columns were here standing up until the 1800s, but then one of them fell in a terrible storm. This one. How cool is that? It's still there. I love visiting places in the off season. 
Everything is empty. We are headed over to the Olympic Stadium now. So this is the site of the very first Olympic Games. market now to get to the other side, all the other archaeological sites. We didn't realize that things close so early in the winter, so number another tip, make sure you check your closing times. We just wasted 20 minutes running around this thing because the entrance we went to was closed and the place where I thought an entrance was isn't actually an entrance. So long story short, don't follow us for tips. We don't know what we're doing. You remember that time we ran all the way around the Angora to where we started from? It's now! I'm bad. So this entire complex here is the Agora, which, honestly, I don't know what it is. It's just huge. Heading up to that, that's the temple. That's cool. But Russian, because the lady said, I have 20 minutes until they close. So we want to see the temple as much as we can in here. Okay, so that's the temple of Hephaestus. And let's see what else we got in here. <laughs> All right, so this is Agora. It looks like the Roman Forum, like their whole city center down here. And that is Mount Lycabedos, where we went to on the viewpoint for the first day. Sunscreen, sunglasses, and water. Bring them, sun's hot. I learned that. Altar of Zeus. This was the entrance to a palace here. The Palace of the Giants. Seriously, that's what it was called. This is the Stoa. <laughs> What's happening, Ace? We are evading authority while they round us up in 15 minutes. <laughs> Trying to get as much time as possible in here. <laughs> I hear whistles, people yelling closing time. I feel like it's like a giant Lego set. You have all these pieces and you're just like, what can we build? All right, so we got kicked out of there. We're going to the Roman Agora now, which is open an hour later, which is this. So apparently Athens got a little too overbuilt and when the Romans were here, there was no room for like a commercial center, so they cleared out some stuff and they built this. People should know that in the winter, everything closes, all the tourist stuff really early. So like the museum closes at four, a lot of the stuff around here, the ruins close at three, but then restaurants and other stuff stay open way late until like 3 a.m. But wait, there's more. I would, I still think coming in the winter is better because there's a heck of a lot less people than I imagine you'd get in the summer. That's called the Tower of the Winds. So this complex is Hadrian's Library. Why are we outside of the gates? Because they close early. We close at three. Who closes at three? We got to see a lot of stuff. We did. We're, we're fine with what we got to see. We're really, it's, it's just kind of early. It's all for show. But seriously, 3 o'clock. <laughs> Alright, so that's the rest of Hadrian's Library. So you can see most of it from here. <laughs> Look at that mosaic. Lisa just pointed that out. And we are in another hill now, which we're trying to pronounce. We think it's Pnuka, Pi, Nu, Epsilon, Kappa, Alpha. Pnuka. Pnuks. Pnuks. So Socrates was condemned to death and thrown in prison. This prison. We're losing steam, guys. That's another tip for you. Bring snacks. <laughs> We're hiking into the sunset. We're here. We're at the top. This is the monument on top of the Hill of the Muses. I imagine those are muses. So 
So we come back up to Mars Hill, but it's actually called Aeropagus Hill, which Mars Hill is just a nickname. This hill is actually mentioned in the New Testament in the Bible. Check this out. They took him and brought him onto Aeropagus, saying, May we know what this new doctrine whereof thou speakest is. And Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill and said, Ye men of Athens, I perceive that in all things ye are too superstitious. He goes on to preach about the unknown God and then declares that we are the offspring of God. And he was standing right here on this hill. Paul was right here on this hill. How cool is that? Mars Hill. Okay, we're going to wrap this up. Definitely subscribe because tomorrow we're going to Italy and then we have a lot more adventures this weekend. We're going to Carnival in Venice. We're so excited! Yay! Uh, you need to wear masks and get masks and be in Venice. So, I sound weird. <laughs> See you, bye. <laughs>